Why it's important to have your approval in principle prior to viewing. There's been a lot of controversy lately over purchases of a property having to furnish too much financial inf information to a real estate agent prior to being allowed access to view a property. We at Team Ray Mulligan of Remax Results feel it is important to explain to purchasers out there the importance of getting their loan approval stroke funding in place prior to viewing a property. Now please don't get us wrong, we, we don't think it's right if a real estate agent is looking for too much personal and or financial information. There is a fine line. This is how we go about the process. We, Team Ray Mulligan of Remax Results, are happy to grant a purchaser access to any of our properties if we get an email from that purchaser solicitor saying that they're in funds, or alternatively, if a purchaser would like to cross out what they're approved for on their approval in principle letter, that is also acceptable. However, as has always been standard practice, if the purchaser has an offer accepted on any of our properties, we will need to see the full funds to the value of the property that they are purchasing. It is important to note that, number one, potential purchasers should understand that real estate agents' jobs show property to qualified purchasers, not unqualified purchasers. Real estate agents are not tour guides. Purchasers who do not have the requisite funding in place are not in a position to place a bid on or to close a sale of a property. Number two, if a real estate agent grants access to a purchaser who is not qualified to purchase, this means the vendor could potentially lose out on a qualified purchaser who could, who could not gain access to the property. Number three, the vast majority of vendors do not want their real estate agents to entertain unqualified purchasers looking at their properties as these people are not in a position to place a bid. These vendors only want bona fide buyers as oftentimes they're also trying to buy on another property. Number four, from a vendor's perspective, getting pre-approved purchasers means that it weeds out a lot of so-called tire kickers or people who just want to view houses for decor ideas and believe it or not, literally out of curiosity. Please remember that many vendors go to great efforts to get their property ready for viewing and don't want unqualified buyers or nosy neighbours wasting their time, effort, energy and invading their privacy. Number five, perhaps something that people do not think about is the safety of the vendor and estate agent. A real estate agent must protect the interests of their vendors at all times. When they have a copy of a proof of funding from a purchaser, at least they can somewhat guarantee that the person they are meeting is the person they are meant to be meeting. This protects both the vendor, their children, if any, their belongings, their home and also the real estate agent. There is a significant security element to ensuring qualified purchasers are viewing a property. Real estate companies have a duty of care and diligence to protect their employees' health and safety also. I hope this somewhat explains the importance of, of, of only qualified buyers viewing property. It is fantastic to see that a purchaser can access so much information about a property for sale without putting foot inside a door with influx of technology such as professional photography, 2 and 3D floor plans, property videos and drone footage. This all makes the buying process and decision making so much easier. My advice to any potential purchaser out there is go and speak to the bank mortgage broker first, get their approval and principle in order to avoid being disappointed. Thank you.